Hello everyone and welcome back to Broccoli Master YouTube channel. In this video, we will create the notification into our management system. You know that notification plays one of the important roles in any application. When the user makes some changes in their application, then they get notified through their notification. And also, trust me guys, it takes a lot of time and effort to make a project based videos. So if you have not subscribed our YouTube channel, please make sure that subscribe to the channel, like the video and share the video with your friends and family who want to learn the Django from the scratch. So now, without wasting your time, let's begin it. For dealing with the notification, first we need to create the models of the notification. So in the school app, we are going to create the notification model here. So let me write the code here, class, write notification model start model and here write id equal to model start to id field and here primary primary key equal to true and default equal to uuid uuid dot uuid for okay and it table equal to false after that again define the user equal to model start Coding key and in the settings dot auth user dot model and define here on delete equal to model start cascade. Now again need to define the message. So message is equal to one of dot careful and take maximum length to 255. And also need to define if the user is read the notification or not. So we will get the boolean field here is read model start boolean field define here default false and it will create automatic date here so we need to define in our models created at model start date time field and take auto now it equal to true oh, okay now also define the function here save change and it will take self it on the message it on self dot message so so now let's register this model in our admin.py file so in the admin we will write the command admin dot site dot register right here notification and we also need to import a notification from our models so from dot models import all now let's uh, activate our virtual env env scripts activate oh sorry i have write the wrong command there env scripts activate now let's migrate all the files find.py make migration so it's showing the error name double uid is not defined so you we also need to import a uid so in the models let's import it port the uid and let's save it again migrate the file and again it's showing that models foreign key yeah. setting is not actually imported to there so let's also import that from django dot contrib dot or dot models port user a similar way we also need to import the settings from django dot config port settings now let me save it here and again make it all the file so it's showing the error import okay we are missing here oh let's save it and run the command here so it is saying that notification is not registered in our admin.py file so let me first save it and here we will define notification okay so let me write it again notification and let me save it and run the migration so finally migration is done here and again we need to migrate all the file so minus python minus dot py migrate and run the server python manage.py 
run server okay so we have done with the models and admin files we also need to make the changes on our views so let me define the views here on the views we need to create two function here one is for the mark notification as read and another is when the user click on the clear then all the notifications should be cleared there so let me define the function here if mark notification as read here right request if request method equal to post then notification uh, let me define it by a small letter notification equal to notification dot objects dot filter filter and here user equal to request dot user it means that when the user get authenticate then only they can get a notification there okay and here we also write is read equal to false and we also need to make the update there so notification dot update is read equal to true then return json response and here define status success return the http bones forbidden let's save it and we also need to import a json response so here write from django dot http import json response and also import the notification model so here write from dot models put notification so let me save it and again define another function when the user click on it then the all the notifications should be cleared there def clear all notification here define request if request dot method equal to post then notification equal to notification dot objects dot filter right here user equal to request dot user a similar way it should be delete all the file when it click on the clear button okay and also return json response and here return http response forbidden okay let me save this file and we also need to add these functions in our urls so let's define it here so here write path notification mark as read and here define views dot mark notification as read name equal to let me copy this and paste it here and we also need to define another path so right here path notification clear all right here views dot clear all notification name equal to let me copy this all things and paste it here so save it so finally we have done with the router views and the models now in our management systems let me open it here let first log in here okay so in the management systems we are seeing that so in the management systems we are seeing that when any update or changes were made in the list here then it must get notified here okay and i also want one feature that when the user come their own dashboard just like when the user visit in their student dashboard then here notification will be count if they are not read that notification so that's the idea here we are going to make the changes so let's do it here so for it we also need to pass the command in our student list and add edit delete whatever it is there in our functions we also need to pass that all things there so let me define it in our views.py file so first we also need to define in our dashboard so in the dashboard uh, let define it here on read notification equal to and here pass model name notification dot objects dot filter 
user equal to request dot user and is read false and also define for the count on read notification and count equal to on read notification dot count okay so it will store the total number of count of the notification if the user is not did there so let's save it and also need to make the changes in our student section so in the student and in the views.py file let it from the beginning in the add students here we will write the command create notification request dot user and here write added student and also pass the student name so right here is student dot first name and also write the last name so student dot last name so let us save and also need to modify in our student list so in the student list uh, we will write a command on the notification equal to request dot user dot notification set dot filter and here write is read equal to false and let me define it on the above so here and also need to pass in our context we will write a command on read notification on read notification let's save it and also make the changes in our edit student so let me copy above code i will copy these all things and paste it here in the edit and here we will define it let's save it again so in the similar ways when the user get delete on any of data there then also provide notification so right here create notification request dot user and deleted student also pass the student name here okay write student name so finally we have done with all the stops now let's save it and we also need to make the changes in our base.html file so let me make the changes here so let me find first where we have write the notification code so from the above the notification section must be here okay so this is the notification and it is started from here okay so here is the count section so let me define it here and give the gap here also and here write if on did notification count greater than zero and here pass simple on did notification count in the similar way we also need to close it here right we right end if so we have deal with the count section and here is also a notification so so here in the notification list write the command for notification in on did notification and this must be in here okay so create here percent percent right here in or let's save it and we don't require this extra notification here so let's remove from here we also don't need so re remove this all th three notification which were already made in our html file okay now save it and also need to make the changes here your username should be display here so right
notification dot user dot username in a similar way here also display the message so write the command notification dot message and here also it should be show the time so write the command there okay so actually we have deal with the notifications and for the notification we also need to to add the javascript file so let me add there so i have written some javascript file here you know to add in your own base.html file because this javascript file is not available in our student management system so let me paste the code here and save it now let's refresh our page and in the student list let me make the some changes here i will write simple broccoli okay and submit let's check the notification so you can see that here the notification is created so when we click on the clear the everything is gone there okay as we already seen the notification when we are again click on the notification then you can see that no notification is here available okay so again i'm making the some changes and here i'm writing simple master and i'm saving this file and when i am going in our student dashboard then you can see here there is a one count is available and it is also counting our notification that we have not did yet okay so when we click on it then similarly you can see that this count is already gone from here so in this way our notification system will be work in our management system and this is for today and i want to give you assignment to complete this all project here i have only deal with the student sections and please complete this project it works nearly same as we have done with the students do the project and complete the teacher sections department subject account holiday fees everything that is available here okay and don't worry about this dashboard i already created the video of that dashboard how can you deal with that if you have not watched that video please go on our channels and watch that video it is nearly working like same like that here is only you want that to paste the data from your database okay so on the video that i have made already in our channel paste all the data in our dashboard through our blog website so please complete this project this project will definitely boost your knowledge to make any types of Django project. And at the last, when you complete this project, please comment below. Let me see how many of you are completing this project. So if you have not subscribed to the channel till now, please subscribe it. It will take a lot of time and effort to make a video. And please also comment below what types of video do you want to see on the next video. See you on another video. Thanks for watching the video. Keep watching and keep coding.